Good morning. Welcome to the 2022 USC Seoul Prize School of Public Policy commencement. I am Carol Rush, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. Please rise and welcome the class of 2022. The procession is now entering the venue. It is led by flag bearers. Sabrina Catherine Panfill, our valedictorian, is leading our dean down the right center of the center aisle. Gary John Yang, Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Development graduate, is leading our vice dean for academic affairs down the left side of the center aisle. The faculty, are now entering the venue. Dean Dana Goldman and commencement speaker, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman are leading the faculty down the right side of the center aisle. And Vice Dean Juliet Musso is leading the faculty down the left side of the center aisle. The doctoral graduates are now entering the center aisle of the auditorium, led by Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management graduate Sean Angst and Doctor of Philosophy in Urban Planning and Development graduate Jocelyn Poe. Gia Grant Rutledge, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development graduate, concludes the doctoral procession. The master students are now entering the auditorium and are processing down the center aisle. Leading the procession are the Master of Health Administration students led by MHA graduates Lauren Snell, Student Health Council President, and Paul Watson, co-president of Uppsala and Phi Delta. Executive Master of Health Administration students are now entering the auditorium and are led by EMHA graduates Jolene Rebecca Sains and Nico Dominga Scott. Executive Master of Leadership students are EML graduates Banu Cruz and Martin Vincent Figueroa. Entering the auditorium are the Master of Nonprofit Leadership and Management students, 
led by Sabrina Chenille Espinosa, Students of Color and Allies Policy Forum Steering Committee member, and Sarah Titus, Master of Nonprofit Leadership and Management graduate. The Master of Public Administration graduates follow, led by Tiffany Chum, Graduate Policy and Administration Community Online MPA Chair, and Annie Hong, President of the Graduate Policy and Administration Community. The Master of Public Policy students are now entering the venue. Leading the MPP graduates are Corin Bellman, Graduate Policy and Administration Executive Officer, and Janae Celestine, Price and Assultants Consulting Organization. Now entering the auditorium are the Master of Science in Public Policy Data Science graduates, led by 
Patricia Ferrito, and Wok Young Tang. The Master of Planning and Master of Urban Planning graduates follow, led by Associated Students of Planning and Development co-chairs Haley Marie Rundle and Stephanie Wong, and MPL graduate Gil Gilbert Gutierrez, Jr. Now entering the auditorium are the Executive Master of Urban Planning graduates, led by EMUP graduates Hilda Boyajian and Emily Rodman Colwell. The Master of International Public Policy and Management students are now entering the auditorium. They are led by IPAM Student Senate Presidents Ashley Jimenez and Chun Michael Lee. The master's procession concludes with the Dollinger Master of Real Estate students, led by Justin Hua, Graduate Real Estate Association Vice President, and Syed Murtaza Razavi, Dollinger Master of Real Estate graduate. The undergraduates are now entering the auditorium. The Bachelor of Science in Public Policy students are led by Serena Nadine Allen, undergraduate planning at Price Organ Student Organization Co-Social Chair, and Katerina Azarkan Levandis, Progressive Bachelor of Science in Public Policy and Master of Health Administration graduate.
The Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Development graduates are, are led by Chance Heron Morris, Trojan Real Estate Association Diver Director of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, and Chase Revelle, Homeland Security Student Organization Director of Alumni Relations. Concluding the professional are the Bachelor of Science in Urban Studies and Planning graduates and are led by undergraduate planning at Price Student Organization co-chairs Isidoro Serna and Joan Lee. Welcome to the stage, Dana Goldman, Dean and C. Irwin, and I own L. Piper Chair of the USC Saul Price School of Public Policy and Distinguished Professor of Public Policy, Economics, and Pharmacy. Thank you, and please be seated, faculty. I want to welcome and congratulate the USC Price Class of 2022. It's a pleasure for all of us to be here, together with family, friends, faculty, and staff, to celebrate your achievements. And your achievements span so many important areas, public policy and management, urban planning, health administration, and real estate development. This is the hallmark of our school, disciplinary, disciplinary breadth, but with a common sense of community service and public purpose. Today, we'll celebrate and commemorate these accomplishments. But to start, I want to congratulate all of our student award winners. And frankly, there are too many to name individually. Price students earn competitive awards across the university, including the Stephen and Catherine Sample Renaissance Scholar Distinction, the Global Scholar Distinction, 
the Discovery Scholar Distinction, the University Trustees Award, and the USC PhD Achievement Award. Would the recipients of these awards please stand and be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. All of you have had the pleasure of earning your degrees from one of the best policy schools and with the best faculty in the world. Our university honored three of these faculty this year and I would like to do the same. Professor Emeritus Tridib Banerjee has been recognized with USC's Faculty Lifetime Achievement Award. Professor Dan Masmanian, who I think is emeritus as of today, has been recognized with a presidential medallion for his leadership of the USC Presidential Working Group on Sustainability. And Professor Genevieve Giuliano is the recipient of the USC Distinguished Faculty Service Award. Thank you. And I think they're all on a beach somewhere. I also want to make special mention of the ROT students and veterans in this graduating class. The Price School is really honored to host USC's ROTC programs. We have been associated with this program for almost 40 years, and we take immense pride in our graduates who have served in the armed forces. Please join me in thanking them. And last, and certainly not least, I would like to thank the wonderful faculty and staff for bringing us together for this ceremony. It's been a while. Now I'd like to address our graduates. This is a day you have long anticipated, but I'm sure you didn't expect to arrive here in quite this manner. Public policy is about the study of the power and the limits of collective action and COVID brought that into sharp relief. Consider the following thought experiment. Go back two years ago, to, or approximately to April 2020. If everyone in the world had just stayed still for three weeks, 12 feet apart, wearing masks, COVID would have disappeared from the planet. But no government could figure out how to coordinate and enforce this effort. I couldn't even get my family to do it. At the same time, we learned a second powerful lesson, that reasonable modifications to human behavior can help save our planet. In fact, one of the less known uh, consequences of 2020 is that we also showed a record drop in CO2 emissions as people remained in their homes more. So while collective action can be powerful, it also poses the vexing question, how safe do we want to be? We can remain secure, isolated in our homes, or we can take some risks, travel the world, and gather as we do on this day. So the question is not whether we act collectively, but rather how much risk can we tolerate and how can we do so while protecting the most vulnerable? And working with our faculty and staff, our students took on these tough issues directly. They answered such questions as, do mask mandates work? How can we test more quickly and cheaply? Should we impose a moratorium on evictions? What does COVID mean for health disparities? But at the same time, we continued our ongoing efforts at Price to combat climate change, strengthen democratic processes, and make education more inclusive and accessible. And this, our students followed up this research with action. You led blood drives, blood donation drives, supported vaccination efforts, ran for office, volunteered at nonprofits, and marched for social justice. In short, graduates, you were galvanized by your experiences to support the public good. But sometimes our notion of how to achieve the public good conflicts with others. Our community has been best served by listening to one another with both empathy and humility, asking good faith questions and looking carefully at the data. This hasn't always been easy and it sometimes leads to tense interactions. And sometimes we look at the same data and come to very different conclusions. 
As a school committed to teaching you how to be effective leaders, civil discourse is part of our DNA. As leaders, I hope you will remember the humanity of the people around you and approach difficult topics with empathy, respect, and a willingness to admit when you are wrong. I myself, by the way, have never been wrong, but I hear you should do that on occasion. Let's keep going. <laughs> You've demonstrated your moral resolve and responsibility to one another as global citizens. I hope you will continue to cultivate a healthy skepticism, an insatiable curiosity, and a lifelong pursuit of truth. I would like to also close on a personal note. My son Jared is among our graduates today. And <laughs> And my family is here to support him, including my wife, Sandra, and my oldest son, Noah, a public school teacher, and our extended family. And I just want you to know that I bear no responsibility for their behavior today. <laughs> Congratulations to the USC Price <laughs> Class of 22. So my message today has been one about taking risks with the understanding that your actions will influence others, sometimes in powerful ways. And this is why I'm so pleased to introduce our 2022 commencement speaker. He was born in Ukraine and emigrated with his family to the United States in 1979. In 1999, he was commissioned as an infantry officer and later received a Purple Heart for wounds received in Iraq in 2004. Now a retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel, he served most recently as the Director for Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, and Russia on, White House's, on the White House's National Security Council. He's currently a doctoral student and senior fellow at the Foreign Policy Institute at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. He is also the author of the New York Times best-selling memoir, Here, Right Matters. Please join me in welcoming Alexander Vindman. All right, I need to take this in for a minute here. Uh, a lot of people, this is more challenging than testifying in front of Congress or appearing in front of cam cameras on TV. Um, I'm proud and honored to join you here today. Uh, this is a unique experience. Uh, I've not done anything like this before. Uh, I make it a point to interact with uh, student bodies and uh, after a career of 20 plus years in the military, I try to pass on some of my knowledge and I'm honored to join you here. Uh, thank you to Dean Goldman Thanks for the opportunity to speak and address you. Uh, thank you to the parents and family that helped this happen. Uh, without the parents, friends, and family, I think many of you wouldn't be here. But thank you most to the students for the higher honor of speaking to you. It's a unique opportunity, and I hope you uh, take something out of my remarks and uh, allows you to carry your careers forward. Uh, who knew that an appearance on Curb Your Enthusiasm would land me this opportunity to speak to this crowd? So my own journey as a, uh, a public servant started uh, many years ago. I joined the military after being commissioned uh, in ROTC. Uh, it started active duty in 1999. At the time, I thought it was going to be a relatively short stint, uh, three, four years, and then I'd move on. I was pre-med. I, th I thought I had other uh, career options in front of me, but I found it fascinating what a career in public service could offer. It, at every point where I reflected on whether it was time to move on and do something else, public service came calling. It, it drew me back in, offered increased responsibility, increased opportunities, increased challenges, and, and offered me an opportunity to better myself. Through that uh, career in public service, uh, I developed a passion for public service to the point where now I can't see a, a life moving forward even after leaving uniform without some element of service. I remember my first day out of the military, 
I wrote, uh, I, I guess, a, a guiding document for myself. I published an op-ed in the Washington Post explaining why I left the military, uh, under what conditions, uh, under the conditions of being um, retaliated against and uh, uh, persecuted and harassed by the former, by the administration and former President Trump. But I also didn't dwell on that too much. I made it a point to talk about what I wanted to do moving forward. I wanted to advocate for public servants and public service. It's what made me who I was. Uh, it's what was on display to a lot of the American public that never uh, really understood what, what uh, public servants or bureaucrats did in government. They thought it was a waste of money. Government's too bloated. But on those days in uh, the fall of 2019, they saw, uh, and I was honored to be a member of that group, uh, public servants in, in action, showing their excellence, showing their expertise, showing their uh, na national security bona fides, but most importantly, showing their values and integrity. And that's why I, I'm particularly proud to be able to speak to you all, is because you, uh, especially seeing the composition of this group, a lot of uh, graduate students, a lot of masters and, and PhD students, you've committed to public service, not once, not just pursuing your undergraduate, but now uh, pr pursuing advanced degrees, and you've pretty much chosen a course moving forward for the career as long as you want to take it for the public good, for selfless service. For me, it was uh, about contributing to national defense and national security, but each one of you will make a contribution to your local, state, federal level, uh, improving the lives. And that's something that we should remember. And I'm definitely going to finish by thanking you for your service, but I want to take the opportunity now to thank you for your service, for the fact that you're gonna, you've committed to this course of action. In a lot of ways, this is one of the features that distinguishes you from the other uh, Trojan graduates. That uh, everybody's gonna go on and do great things, but you've committed to selfless service. And that, that is something that's gonna also arm you uniquely to face challenges in life. A lot of people will, as they face challenges in life, will think about what's in their own personal interest, what's in their own good. And that's, uh, in certain ways, a recipe for disaster because they'll put their own interests ahead of their community interests. You don't have to worry about that. You're always gonna put the community interests ahead of your own. You're gonna make the right choice because it's the right thing to do, not because it's the right thing to do for you and for your career advancement. For me, I had the Army values. We use the uh, mnemonic device leadership, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, personal courage. For you, uh, you have your, your school values, you'll have your institutional values, you'll have USC values exemplified by the, the motto, fight on. That's the kind of people you are, that's the kind of way, that's the way you'll, you'll live your life. And it's gonna arm you to overcome challenges, and there'll be plenty of challenges. Uh, it's just the, the nature of life. Unforeseen challenges that, that will emerge. And the way you overcome those is you Train yourself, you train yourself to adhere to a principles and values, what I refer to as working your values muscle. So for me, as an army officer, I didn't have, I had maybe some advantages. I, I knew that my resp responsibility was to not walk by a mistake, to make on the spot corrections, to, to train my soldiers and live my life to adhere to loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, personal courage. That's, that's easier probably to do at the 20 year mark, which is when I uh, uh, was thrust into the public eye, than it is at the beginning. It's an imposing task to do that as, as younger folks. But I have confidence that you'll fight on and do the right thing. Speaking to truth, truth to power is another thing that I, I, I think you um, should all strive to do. It's a particularly challenging task it usually comes with severe consequences, or can come with severe consequences. I know through my, much of my career, I was encouraged to do so. I was encouraged to offer advice, counsel, recommendations um, by leadership. But that's not always the case, and you're going to face challenges. And this, this takes me to the theme of moral versus physical courage. We prize physical courage. Fireman runs into a burning house, 
he'll receive recognition. A soldier on the battlefield uh, conducting heroic feats will see, receive medals. We don't do that for moral courage. And what I would ask you to do as you move forward is to pick out the, those people around you that display that moral courage, because those are the people that are going to change the world. Those are the people like Rosa Parks, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King that changed the world. That's something that we, as a, I think, as a society need to recognize, that moral courage, that forethought, that selfless service and forethought, in certain ways is as valuable or maybe even more valuable than that physical courage, that instinct, the survival instinct that unfolds in moments without that deep reflection behind it. I think doing the right thing also comes with this notion of uh, peace, living at peace and without regrets. Uh, I tried to do the, in, in my challenges, I try to do the, the right thing. And for me as a father to a young daughter, an 11 year old girl, I, I want to be able to look her in the eye when she gets older and not have to explain myself and, and equivocate. That's what a life of living according to values, that's what a life of being a public servant is about. I think you'll, you'll come to recognize that if you haven't already. Now, a, a career in public service, you'll, you'll find this uh, interesting and surprising. It doesn't just end when between your transitions in, in your careers. You'll find that there are other ways you might choose to contribute, whether that's to uh, inform your community about issues at hand, uh, playing a role in uh, urban regional planning. There's quite a few of the folks here in that uh, career field. But it's something that you'll take with you even after you retire. You'll look for opportunities to make a difference. So on that basis, I'm very, very proud to be able to talk to this group uh, that's committed itself to, to doing these th types of things. Last two things I think I would want to mention to, to this group as you start afresh, start new, graduate today, new day tomorrow, is don't be afraid to start over. For me, in my military career, I think I had some 14 moves, I, maybe two dozen different positions that I served in, always starting afresh, starting new. That's, the, that's going to be a, a path either through progress or through trial and error, through stumbles, and learning the lessons of, of your failures and moving on, don't be afraid to start over. It'll hold you back. It'll force you to self-deter. It'll make you doubt yourself. It'll make you... It will shake your confidence in your values. So make sure, if you remember one thing, Make sure you remember that you have chosen a path that's bigger than yourself. It's about selfless service. It's about your community. Even if you, you fail, pick yourself up, move on. <laughs> Lastly, if you remember one thing, let it be my deep appreciation for you, for your selection of public service. I'm grateful for what you will accomplish in your future. Fight on. Thank you very much, Alex. I'm now pleased to introduce the Price School valedictorian, Sabrina Panfill. Today, Sabrina is, is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Development. She's earned the highest GPA among all the undergraduate students at Price, not that we're about numbers. Uh, she is also the recipient of the university's Trustees Award, which is granted to students who have earned a perfect 4.0 grade point average for their entire undergraduate course of study. Please join me in welcoming Sabrina Panther.
Thank you, Dean Goldman, for the introduction. I'm honored and excited to be here celebrating with you all today. Our time at USC has in many ways taken an unexpected path full of twists and turns. Along the way, we found new friends, ambitions, academic pursuits, and perspectives. We had the opportunity to learn about ourselves and get another step closer to knowing what we want and what we are capable of. In this journey of self-discovery, many of us altered the paths we had originally laid out for ourselves into a course that better fits our newly discovered passions and hopes for the future. For me, this involved switching majors to join the Sol Price School of Public Policy. I like to say it's because we have the prettiest classrooms on campus, but of course, there's so much more to it. Beyond our beautiful facilities, Price stands out as a school that seeks to improve the lives of people and enhance society, whether through urban planning, real estate development, public policy, or philanthropy. Our faculty go above and beyond to give us a well-rounded education, teaching us to locate areas of improvement through engagement in our communities and become problem solvers that can and will create solutions. In Price classes, such as Dr. Lavana Lewis's Social Justice Issues, <laughs> she's the best, Social Justice Issues in Public Policy and Urban Planning, we are asked to see and acknowledge the flaws in our society and in ourselves in order to understand how we can use that knowledge to create a more equitable world. After opening us up to new perspectives, our dedicated faculty members help us understand not only how to recognize the work left to do, but how to create realistic and actionable roads forward in our journeys to improve the lives of all people, whether through implementing policy change, planning sustainable communities of the future, or leading nonprofit organizations. With the gift of education that we have been given, it is our responsibility to give back to our society, our community, and our university in order to leave each better than we found it. Before giving back, I want us all to give thanks today to our educators, university staff, family, and friends that have helped us through our journey to graduation. Today, we are celebrating the contributions that each of you have made to get us here. Thank you to our professors for guiding us and showing us all of the possibilities for how we can use our degrees to enact meaningful change in our communities. A special thank you to my professor of two whole semesters, Professor Mary Lynn Bourne, who kindly advised me on my speech today. To, bo <laughs> to both our university administrative and facilities management staff, thank you for keeping our university running and providing a clean and beautiful campus environment for us to learn. Thank you to our families and friends whose emotional and financial support assisted all of us in crossing this finish line today. Thank you to my siblings for their support, encouragement, and willingness to spend a vacation day celebrating with us today. And finally, I wanna thank my parents, Mark and Kendra Panfill, for their invaluable guidance, love, and support throughout my life. I love you guys. As we look to the future, I want us also to reflect on the past several years and all that we have collectively endured during our time here. In our four years, we have been faced with a wide variety of challenges outside of the classroom that impacted our college experience and outlook on the future. Each of us, in our own way, has been affected by the current events that pierce through the university bubble. Our paths were altered by COVID-19, incidents of racially charged violence and terrorism, policy changes across the country that threaten the human rights of women and the LGBTQIA community, and ongoing international wars, just to name a few. Yet these obstacles show us that now more than ever, our education and what we choose to do with it upon graduation are imperative. At Price, our mission is to improve the quality of life for people in their communities here and abroad. These moments in history highlight the necessity of our mission and the importance of our impact. I hope that these moments are only the first piece of a story we tell about a turning point in our communities and in our nation. I hope that in the future, we look back on this time in history that we are living through and reflect on it as the inspiration for new paths forward. I hope that we can choose optimism and fight for the future we want. I hope that we use the tools we have been given in the transference of our degree today to help us create a more equitable society. And I hope that we are ready to rise to the challenges that face us. 
I know that working together across majors, across schools, across universities, and even across nations, we have the ability to create a more equitable world. I'm incredibly proud of what everyone here has accomplished already. Whatever the next step in each of our paths may be, I wish you all joy and success in your future endeavors. I cannot wait to see the collective impact we will have on our communities and beyond. Thank you and fight on. And so uh, thank you very much for those excellent remarks. And I want to note that Al Alex made the point that it's not just about physical courage, it's moral courage. But I want to point out we have a huge stack of diplomas, and we're going to have to hand these out, so it requires some physical prowess. So with that, I'll enter, turn it over to you. <laughs> Okay, now's the time. First of all, thank you, Sabrina. That was a beautiful speech. Now is the time to recognize the hard work of each and every one of the graduates. We will now call up each student individually and hand out diploma covers. Diplomas will be mailed in four to six weeks. We will begin with the Doctor of Philosophy candidates who will be hooded by their dissertation chairs, then following with handing diploma covers to the master's candidates, and conclude with the undergraduate candidates. After you've received your diploma cover, please return to your seat and stay in your seat until the ceremony concludes. There are photographers present who will take pictures of the graduates as they receive their diploma covers. Information on ordering pictures will be sent to each graduate after the ceremony. Please do not crowd the aisles or the area in front of the stage to take pictures of your graduate. So Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management and Doctor of Philosophy in Urban Planning and Development. Professor Juliet Musso, Vice Dean for Academic Affairs is coming to the stage. Pudding. Ty Van Lay, Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. Dissertation title, Diverging Pathways to Citizenship and Immigrant Integration in the United States. Ty received the Henry Reining Jr. Award for the best dissertation in public policy and management. Dissertation chair, Dr. Juliet Musso. Manita C. Rao, Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. Dissertation title, Essays on Mitigation, Adaptation, and Resilience in Urban Fiscal Crises. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Juliet Musso. E. Chin, Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. Dissertation title, Uncovering Hidden Figures, Disparities and Dementia Burden in an Aging America. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Juliet Zisimopoulos. Soledad de Gregorio Aninant, Direct Doctor of Philosophy in Public Policy and Management. Dissertation title, Policies and Tools to Improve Student Outcomes, Examining Alternative Pathways into Teaching, Classroom Observation Instruments, and Student Homelessness. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Gary Painter.
Jocelyn Poe, Doctor of Philosophy in Urban Planning and Development. Dissertation title on Planning, Place, and Race. How Trauma Imaginaries Reveal Communal Trauma and Impact Collective Well-Being. Dissertation chair, Dr. David Sloan. Madison Ray F. Stathew Swain, Doctor of Philosophy in Urban Planning and Development. Dissertation title, Three Essays on Environmental Justice in Real Estate, Public Services, and Policy. Dissertation Chair, Lisa Schweitzer, Dr. Lisa Schweitzer. Madison will be hooded by Dr. Marlon Bournett. Let's give a round of applause to the PhD graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Doctor of Policy, Planning, and Development. Gia Elizabeth Grant Rutledge, Doctor of Policy, Planning, and Development. Dissertation title, Evaluating Urban Policy and Its Impact on Social Determinants of Health. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Lavana Lewis. Muna Cato Darian, Doctor of Policy Planning Development, dissertation title, Making an Impact with High Net Worth Philanthropists, Understanding Their Attributes and Engagement Preferences at Nonprofit Organizations. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Peter Robertson. Moriah Azar Moini, Doctor of Policy, Planning, and Development. Dissertation title, Supporting a High-Value Maternity System of Care, Prioritizing Resilience and Relationships of Mothers as a Means to Improve Maternal and Child Health. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Lavana Lewis. Elizabeth Carreño Diaz, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development, a stakeholder approach to deimagining private departments of public health. Dissertation Chair, Dr. William Resch. Miles Stephen McCadney, Doctor of Policy, Planning, and Development. Dissertation title, A Strategic Talent Management Retention Model, An Effective Way to Shape the United States Space Force. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Errol Southers. Iris Aguilar, Doctor of Policy, Planning, and Development. Dissertation title, Social Engagement and Cognitive Decline in Mexican Americans, Implications for Age-Friendly Cities. Iris received the DPPD Outstanding Dissertation Award. Dissertation Chair, Emma Aguilar, Dr. Emma Aguilar.
James David Madia, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development, dissertation title, Threat Assessment of Physical Attacks on Electrical Infrastructure, How Do Terrorist Groups Select Their Targets? Dissertation Chair, Dr. Detlef von Winterfeld. Michael David Falco, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development, dissertation title, A Framework for Good Local Governance, Achieving Prosperity in an Increasingly Complex Environment. Dissertation chair, Dr. Frank Zarunian. Herbert Stone James IV, policy, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development, dissertation title, The Role of Leadership in Collaboration as a Catalyst for Regional Economic Development, a Grounded Theory Study. Dissertation Chair, Chris Redfin, hooded by Dissertation Committee Member, Dr. Carol Geffner. Devon Binlian, Director, Doctor of Policy Planning and Development. Dissertation title, Cross Laminated Timber, Tall Wood, CLT as a Sustainable Alternative to Concrete and Steel in Tall Buildings. Dissertation Chair, Dr. Peter Robertson. Let's give a round of applause to the DPPD graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Health Administration. Professor Jason Doctor, Chair of the Health Policy and Management Department, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Paul Watson. Lauren Ashley Snell. Danielle Fayad. Helen Constable. Matthew Nielsen. Tova Corman, Jason Giaquinta, Amber Tarr, Rock Jean, Rosalind Njideka Aniki. Seth Ali. Christine Powers. Sunya Chandi. Andrea Martinez. Simone Sober. Anthony Michael Espinoza, Brendan Berg, Andrea Castro, 
Shivani Deval Barrett. Jocelyn Sandoval. Richa Patel. Kong Kong Lu. Gabe Garcia. Victoria Navarro Gutierrez. Eva Tedesco. Richa Rajan. Annabelle Dordulian. Nina Hanna Asani. Ariana Chorbajian. Catherine Christine Desjardins. Bianca Vasconian. Michael Nelson. Rita Lily Karayan. Kim Nguyen. Kaveri Sharma. David Alexander Nugent. Irene Park. Suchi Patel. Camelia Ansari. Ambika Rashmi Ketterpal. Nikita Buma. Gabriel Gino David. Arti Jaiswal. Ashima Seth. Jessica Catherine Georges. Olivia Kim. Shada Nicomalfard. Wenjun April Young. Esther Kim. Rushangi Gotam Shah. Christina Zaragoza. Jasmine May Luong. Mariam Tarik. Paulina Ann. Brooklyn Ray Gomez. Katarina Azarkan Lavandis. Kenya Stokes. Tosca Chrismalia Sumampo. Jihang Chen. Salim Kalafian. Li Ying Wang. Helen Kim Wu. Fatima Mubarak Alzanan. Lori Dieth. Elaine Nguyen. Christy Lay Nguyen. James Wu. Austin Tan Nguyen.
Elise Hunt. Justin Kawaguchi. Ryan Cho. Jared Park. Mason Matalon. Is that it? Let's give a round of applause to the MHA graduates. <laughs> Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Executive Master of Health Administration. Nico Dominguez Scott. Jolene Rebecca Sines. Jennifer Trifon. Araceli Huerta. Romolo Tolentino Jr. Jamie Ann Bantug. Rhonda Marie Sweeney. Ashley Andress. Hadil El Saye. Ian Vasquez, Sheila Rossi, Gasya Majarian, Melinda Chiem, Gloria G. Cuellar, Tanya Hogan. Sabrina Tucker. Paige Vega. Shane William Parkinson. Sydney Catherine Erickson. Oguchuku Ihianu. Natia Wilson. Anar Vias, Ramond G. Doily, Yosuke Horikawa, William Gress, Melanie Nelson. Darlington Uchechukwu Nwakoro. Sandra Zalata Maz. Alex Scumpia. Carol Uchi Chu. Madeline Doe. Juliana Vega. Greta Kalaishian. Shannon Slater. Mohit Gulati. Olivia Diaz. Sindhu Alexander. Catherine Duarte. Scott Allen Russell. 
David Wang. Jenna Christine Graciano. Samanpreet Sangha. Rebecca Michelle Hill. Diana Chi. Eliza May Palomo Elijah. Nancy Nunez. Ani Benjamin. Alfonso Martinez. Vieta Varbiova. Bradley Davis. Send you Olivia Laura. Congratulations. Norbert Samuel. Christina von Heflin. Alexandra Franco Garcia. Let's give a round of applause to the EMHA graduates. <laughs> Vice Dean Musso, I now present to you the candidates for the Executive Master of Leadership. Professor Carol Geffner, Director of the Executive Master of Leadership Program is joining Vice Dean Musso on the stage. Mike Gallegos. Line leader, go ahead. All right, sir. Um, go ahead and walk down. Banu Anton Cruz. Melanie Paraiso Sunga. Anne Marie. Brenda D. Burke. Anne Marie. Martha Teresa Viegas. Nicholas Sinclair. James Lopez. Erica Adrian Arras. Fred Mathis. Melvin Brown. Fred Mathis. David Chulis. Hold on just a second. Matthew Buswell. David Childress. Christopher Stephan. Kira Shea. 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 K
Kira Shay Dalton. Justin Ronio. Can you, can you show me on your phone? Or, okay. Um, Nicole. Nicole Thornis Ramon. Nicole Thornis Ramon. Evening White. Jonathan Ramon. Christina Kittipon Bune. <laughs> David Anthony Sanchez. Martin Figueroa. Arturo Sainz. I don't want to stay on the Hamilton Alvarenga. Let's give a round of applause to the EML graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Nonprofit Leadership and Management. Professor Rim Kaki, Vice Chair of the Department of Governance and Management, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Sabrina Chenille Espinoza. Sarah K. Titus. Mohammed Fauzi bin Mohammed Ismail. Marquisha Doolittle. Should we just read it? Emily Andres. Searsha Scott. Fall Mc oh. Fallon Berger. Aaron McGarry. Let's give a round of applause to the MNLM graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Public Administration. <laughs> Professor Yan Tang, Chair of the Department of Governance and Management, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Annie Hong. Sid Romero. Lorig <laughs> Yaksasian. Tiffany Liza Chum. Cassandra Angel. Claudia Aragon. Giselle Garcia. Alexis Hamill. Christina. Amanda. Christina Amanda Breckenridge. Alexander Wagner. Haley Lusher. Nicholas Cabeza. Derek Wong. Dorian J. Jackson. Congratulations, buddy. Cristiano Yell. Carrie DeGraff. Jiu Wong. Kristen Brimager. Wong Bo. 
Ron Wangbo. Narali Yelabaya. Minhee Na. Wendy Perez. Zihao Chen. Sonia De Mesa. Picture on our thing. I always think you look just like some R&B singer from the. I'm like, she's so classy. Savona Blake. Austin Smith. Oh. Abdullah Nahari. Cynthia Alba. Ye Young Pong. Christina Flores. G.E. Fun. Caitlin Dempsey. Who? 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 Yu Cheng Who? Richard Alvarez Aguilar. Hold it up for me just for a second. Cassandra Magdalena Scott. Sarah Jung In Choi. Desiree. Desiree Georgina Quintero. Da Jung Kim. My neighbor's name is Eris. I love it. Eris Scott. Maurice Humphreys. Tell stage left photographer to go quick. Christine Zografia. Gabriela Jimenez. Letha Thomas. Andrea Nicole Rojas. Tom, Tanya Bermudez Batista. Emily Krupen. Natalie Quadra. Shauna David. Brittany Rolkin. Mandy Grant. Soline Manukian. Kevin L. Forrester. Bradley David Jacob. Alexander Chin. Lu. Ahmed Mansour Al Maki. Michael Matchell. Sarah Whitman. Andrea Morris. Shelby Lynn Hughes. Jeff Benton. Janet Tapia. Jason McReynolds. Andre Luna. Now they're reading quick, they're shooting quick. Jamilka Mena. Paula Morales. Emma Dierman. Emma Dierman. Alexandra Renee Clark. Camber Marie Good. Bridget Marie Purcell. Michael Burton. Alden Zhang. It's my daughter's favorite princess. Ariel Thomas. Evelyn Camacho. Marielle Trumbauer. Rita Ruiz. 
Stephanie Bonham. Alexandra Lee. I grew up in New Mexico, I know that. So, sorry, one more time. Edith Nuno Jimenez. Talia Sanchez. Kimberly Alexis Burton. Carlo Angelo Santiago. Robert Singleton. Rachel Chen. Christine Verzosa de los Trinos. Celeste Gill. Jacqueline Cow. Jing Yi Sun. Jasmine Diwa Tabili. Young T. Wong. Christian Martin, Martin Villanueva. Just Martin. Okay. Christian Martin Villanueva. Shui Chi Han. Mersa Imani. Christopher Perez. Trevor Ace and Daya Magno. Andrea Wagner. Sarah Tasha Hall. Jennifer Ellis. Somi Chabaida. Nina Elizabeth Crichel. Muset Ayala. Sarah Claire. Matthew James Skier. Tan Chahal. James Par Villarreal. Catherine Irwin. Maria Luisa Couch. Allison Irvin. Christy Lynn Lay. Bryce Steves. Hadassah Jaker. Oh. Melissa Zhu. Kat Tun Tong Fan. Brenda Rodriguez. Noni Romero. Gina Gonzalez de Loa. Diana Erica Ellerin Sinico. Austin Shine. Go ahead. Catherine Monahan. Aramis Trayvon Wells. Hannah Rose Cahansaday. <laughs> Allison Callow. <laughs> Aubrey Hanks. Megan Gates. Natalie Marie Calderon Oropesa. Michelle Block Schrotenborn. Malika Santani. Jenny Yu. Kelly Therese Erland. Deborah Hall. Peter Martinez. Nicholas Brands. Alexandra Morales. Jordan J. Stokes. Thomas Dang. Kadig? Eric B. Kadig. Roderick Shakurian. Yeah. 
Let's give a round of applause to the MPA graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Public Policy. Professor Gary Painter, Chair of the Department of Public Policy, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Janae Celeste. Corin Bellman. Jonathan Medina. Riley Nickel. Diana Spilios. Spilios. Jason Scott Sheets. Honor Christabel Haybaugh. Corey Barnes. Travis Trocta. Jasmine Corey Gavra. Michael Nyman. Julie Leba. Priscilla Morillo. Zachary Chase Emanuel. Megan Culpa Nazarino. Kathleen Hanley. Aubrey Chan. Electra Baldi. Cherish Mumi. Alyssa Aguilera. Humberto Vasquez Orozco. Joshua Michael Canton. Ahad Iqbal. Haley Garland. Rit Shukla. Haley Takens. Andreas Terbosch. Kyle Holbert. <laughs> Kelly Law. Claire Canfield Duckett. <laughs> Samantha Folk. Elliot Lee. <laughs> Grayson Phillip Hahn. Tayan Day Sun Mo. Maya Iniguez. Douglas Lowe. Pung Chong. Scott Karinke. Zoyan Song. Valeria Alvarez. Jin Ran Lu. Caitlin Lee. Bing Ching Wu. Bing Ching Wu. Go. It's okay. Brian John Burley. Irina Magidova. Go. Brian John Burley. Alexander Sarno. Hoi Mei Zeng. Ushen. Oh, sorry. Okay. Cheng Zhao Li. Let's give a round of applause to the MPP graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Science in Public Policy Data Science. Watching Chan. 
Patricia Ferrito. Use it. Cameron, yeah. You have you how name. Let's give a round of applause to the MSPPDS graduates. Okay. Vice Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of Planning kind of and Master of Urban yeah, Planning. Dr. Marlon Bournette, Chair of the Department of Urban Planning and Spatial Analysis, is joining Vice Dean Musso on the stage. Stephanie Wong. Gilbert Gerard Gutierrez, Jr. Jacob Ritchie. Haley Marie Rundle. John Andrew Stables. Josh Albertson. Armin Jorgensen. Mariko Toy. Do my best. Yeah. Hold it up so I can see it though. I don't know your name. Desayud Jevarn Mungsak. Eileen Quinn. Han Kuo Shao. Han Kuo Shao. Nan Ni. Stephanie Bridge. Aria Catania. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Aria Catania. Go. Thank you. Ahmad Mansour Amalki. Mildred Perez. Britt Duffy Atkins. John Me Rose Kagawa. Brandon Marie Smithwick. Gwendolyn Lester. Francis May Marie Carey. Christopher Leon. Lu. Simone Zhang. Ching Ho. Unjun Choi. Alexander Sarno. Hank Doyle. Ming Chu Fang. Hank Doyle. Xiao Yu Dai. Joanne Lee. Drew Berry. Jacob Michael Collins. Let's give a round of applause to the MPO and MUP graduates. <laughs> Vice Dean Musso, I now present to you the candidates for the Executive Master of Urban Planning. Emily Colwell. <laughs> Philippa Burgess. Shaz Umer. Hilda Sirun Boijian Lee. Ryan Chapet Ang. Claudia Cecilia Goitia. David N. Geiger Jr. Flavio Andres Chavez Ramirez. Freddy Godinez. Abigail Sabaka Briner. Troy Nash. Gretchen Stanzel McCann. 
Joshua White. Vicente Gerardo Pena. Eddie Scott. Carly Rodriguez. Justin Ma. Sana Bukhari. You're good. Lauren S. Carter. Amy Islam. Kenya Kirkland. Mike Lanza. Sebastian Lozano. Diego Alejandro Castro Hernandez. Elisa Cota. I'm sorry? Upgard Calantario. Conrad Kalkhurst. Frank Edwin Bird. Drew Hawthorne Miller. Emily Kendre. Tyler Alley. Catherine Vo. John Jeffrey Funny. Channing Jackson. Ian Sollenberger. Vanessa Figueredo. Christopher Cotayon. Paola Jaramillo. Salvador Quintanilla. Jennifer Shook. Jesus Jesse Freyer. Luis Andres. Luis Andres Perez. Jesse Sluder. Jesse Sluder. Brianna Elizabeth Costin. John Schneider. Alina Janelle Portis. Ruben Cervantes. Jennifer Marie Rosas. Michael Karnowski. Shannon Heffernan. Paras Nanavadi. Luis Rodriguez. Eddie Ruano Osario. Simon Shinya Asano. Contessa Roebuck. I'm not going fast. We can go fast. That'll be great. Oh, okay, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Stephanie Chavez. They're still going over there, right? Kevin Daly. Michael Lee. I got you. I got you. Tiana Wiggins. Marcus Krolos McHale. Let's get a, give a round of applause to the EMUP graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Master of International Public Policy and Management. Dr. Joyce Mann, Director of the Master of International Public Policy and Management program, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Michael Lee. Ashley Valeria Jimenez. Khan Abjapar. Okay. Dana Oraskerze. Yep. Go for it. Mulder Baldal Bayeva. Okay. Burjong Komotaila. Aigarim Jonkina. 
Daniela Sosa. Ruan Ruan Slamkuva. Gulmira Kombun Yetia. Chin Chi John. You may do one. You're not or alive. Sung Ah Cho. Alan Chong Yu Fong. Min Jiang Park. Yi Chen Lin. He Jin Yu. Ji Sun O. Kenji Suimasa. Yu Guo. See you too. Yoon Wong. Ruby Wong. There you go. Thank you. Chi Yu Lin. Min Ju Wee. Kelly Tung. Jung Nam Lee. Zi Cheng Du. Sung Hoon Jung. Jin Yak Lee. Sung Chol. Sung Chol Hun. In Kung Ban, Jin Mo Jang, Ho Yu Kim, Sun Young Ryu, Let's give a round of applause to the IPAM graduates. <laughs> Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Dollinger Master of Real Estate Development. Dr. Richard Green, Chair of the Wilbur H. Smith Department of Real Estate Development, is joining Dean Goldman on stage. Murtaza Razavi. Corey A. Bear. Daniel James. Nico Rollis. Christopher DiNapoli. Daniel Schumann. Maxwell Lerman. Kara O'Brien. Christopher Shade. Nicole McDonald. Jack Kirkpatrick. Javier Dillian. Nelia Torkian. Javier De Leon. It's John Franco. Adam Todd. Franco. 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 John Franca. Keith Griffin. Matt Grace. Palmer Bauman. Jake Griffith. Dominique Lesser. Gary Gong. Yvonne Procho. Jorge Gomez. Luke Coran. Chris Norhadian. Randy Wu. Mark Salkis Barian. Garrick Onani. Justin Kua.
let's give a round of applause to the MRED graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Public Policy. Dr. Gary Painter, Chair of the Department of Public Policy, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Serena Nadine Allen. Katerina Levandis. Manushree Desai. Carmen Mascarenas. Daniel Delgado. Dustin Wong. Jose Martinez. Corey Williams. Hector Miguel Flores. Sheen Sadu. Riley McMacken. Kristen D. Halim. Sophia Nguyen. Will Steele. Alia Kalra. Riley Nickel. Lena Cheng. Andre Luna. Alyssa Martinez. Kaylee Hollum. Courtney Taylor. Trent Collins. Aileen Gibson. That's my good. Abigail Erkenbrack. Hannah Franco. Sophia Noel Hilsenbeck. Kira Chan. Nicholas Patrick Webb. Shamsay Fahim. Marco Meg. Misha Hassan. Cairo Alexandra Lawrence. Rinsolo Osaige. Rinsolo Osaige. Rinsolo. Rinsolo Osaige. Isabella. Ariella Shamir. Isabella Robotovsky. Sydney Rose Davis. Magali Seymour. Jacob Cespedes. Jacob Narvaez. Estefani Garcia. Ciclali Gonzalez Alvarez. Addison Arnold. Leila Maldonado. Makila Rogers. Naili Camacho. Shante Robinson. Diana Arlette Salinas Vargas. Aisha Sarwari. Jesse Leo Garcia. Mason Matalon. Let's give a round of applause to the BS in Public Policy graduates. <laughs> Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Real Estate Development. Richard Green, Chair of the Wilbur H. Smith Department of Real Estate Development, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Chance Heron Morris. Chase Rivera. Jared Goldman. Nathan Bauer. Eli Jacob Alicia. Gary John Yang. Jack Tannenbaum. Sabrina Catherine Panfield. <laughs> Maxwell Sands. Jackson Gogo. 
Paulino Lahijani, Jake Bashore. Brian Senegim, Nicholas Kanka, Morgan Ben Moshe, Dasha Sophia Beardsley, Jason Kashefi, Leticia Magdalena Rodriguez, Roman Nuri, Nicholas Echevarria. Nicola Frenchman. Michael Mason. Oriel Medea. And Helica Vasquez Herrera. Stav Braziani. Tristan Ritter. Kevin Schumer. Brooklyn Schirmer. Nima Rafi, Kelly Pat, Alan Novell, Samita Yusuf, Scott Carragher, Sean Samuelian, Brittany Azizi, Gabriella Super. Jordan Kashani. Yeah! Alessia Kiara Lawson. Dustin Nazarian. Tyler George Madden. Brian Kahinasa. David Adams. <laughs> Yang Ding. Jack Warren is for this. Andy Kim. Brandon Kent. Go ahead. Adonika McKinde. Christian Sabah. Ryan Lewis. Basha Dalmashi. Shay Hendricks. Ashton Feingold. Grace Wong. Douglas Lee Eggleston Butler. Erica Lee. Aristos Mongol. Eric Sung Yu Sang. Victoria Jones. Vinci R. Miles Manalong. Jason Matthew Bella. Justin Rodriguez. Celine Cohen. Ben Palm. Kevin Cho. Maxwell Pierce Seller. Austin Stewart Parker. Mark Zubich. Fallon Price. Kyle Clovia. Noah Francisco Reyes. Winston Alfieri. Simon Park. Sheldon Wong. Wilson Lynn. Luke Quentin Eppa. Minje Austin Kim. Geraldine Ashby. Andrew Phillips. Jay Cho. G. Hunter Smith. Trevor Marvin. Jack Butler. Niall Christopher Pimentel. Andrew Ross. Jacob McPhee. Dylan. 
Dylan Vaccaro. Zachary Ketchum Wilson. Austin Parker Dipple. Tyler Lozano. Connor O'Kelly. Preston Hartzell. Nicholas Cardone. Ethan Reed. Ramiro Pacheco. Lamia Yami. Let's give a round of applause to the B-Red graduates. Dean Goldman, I now present to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Urban Studies and Planning. Marlon Bournette, Chair of the Department of Urban Planning and Spatial Analysis, is joining Dean Goldman on the stage. Joanne Lee. <laughs> Phoebe Moffat. Isidoro Serna. Johan Santiago Stabat. Eric Jackson Chen. Hugo Rodriguez. Christine Joanne Vasquez. Christina Dawson. Miguel Angel Coron at Vasquez. Mackenzie Reed, Courtney Boatman. Vanika Bendal. Oscar Mauricio Reyes Zapien. Grace Mulcahy. Sabrina Saita. Ian Henry. Emilio Rosas. Let's give a round of applause to the BS in Urban Studies and Planning graduates. Dean Goldman, you will now return to the podium. Will everyone please stand, or at least the people who are left? <laughs> to the faculty and staff, proud parents, relatives, and friends, I proudly present to you a portion of the Saul Price School of Public <laughs> Policy class of 2022. You may now move your tassels to the left side. Congratulations and good luck.